we just finished filming at Monkey Pod and during dinner, it was itchy on my chest. And I realized when I opened it up, he, he still had the price tag on it. You're supposed to remove it. I did. I removed the top one. There's another one. Okay, you still got the receipt? <laughs> no, baby. Good afternoon, everybody. Hello. We are here in Koalina. Yes, yes. And uh, we are staying at the Disney Aulani. We are. But we're going to highlight some eating places. If you don't want to eat at the resort, there's some great options just right across the street. Short walk from the Aulani, the Four Seasons, and the Marriott. Yes. Mm -hmm. And what's nice about this is they have, because <clears throat> I don't know any of the other rest, uh, any of the other hotels that have it, but the one across the street, they have happy hour. Yes. So we're going to tackle happy hour today at the places across the street from the Elani. Yes, and we are going to start at... Mexico. Mexico Cantina. Yeah, Mexican Cantina. Yes, their happy hour is uh, between 3 to yeah, five, 5, I believe. Mm -hmm. It's a little after 3 right now, so we're going to go see what's hopping. Yes. Let's go. Let's go. We provide the beer and wine for happy hour. We scan the QR code, and this is what they have from 3 to 5 daily. They have drinks and food really inexpensive so we're going to try a few items yeah they have a salsa uh, yeah a salsa flight that sounds yeah. really interesting right so and we're going to order a couple foods yes yeah and here it is right here and some beer of course yes we got our modelos yes five dollars yes salute cheers delicious this is their salsa flight with chips for $5. This is massive. Can't wait to dig on in. Let's go ahead and we're gonna go try. This one is the regular pico de gallo. There's a roasted one. And what was the other one, baby? Do you remember the middle one? Oh, you know what roasted. I don't? Some kind of roja, maybe. I think or something. So yeah. let me go ahead. That's the roasted one. This is the pico de gallo. Mm. Very good great onion flavor you can taste that cilantro in there that is a delicious pico de gallo wow is it hot with some jalapenos this one is not spicy at all look at that wow and with all of these chips chips are just regular chips they're not heated or anything like that mm. perfect with my beer This is really good. Interesting to see what this middle one is. It just looks like um, like a red salsa, but there's no chunks in it. It's very smooth. Wait for it. No Wait. heat. No heat. Now let me try this roasted one. Oh, this one looks really good. Look at that. Wow. No. No. It just has some roasted pepper flavor to it. Very cold in temperature. It's really good. Wow. I think I like these equally as well. Yeah, a great salsa flight. Also off of the happy hour menu, we didn't get everything, but we got a few things. $5 carne asada or chicken tacos. It comes in twos and no meat nachos. I can see the refried beans in there, the salsa, all that sour cream on top. These look all delicious. And again, two tacos come for $5. The nacho plate or the salsa flight was $5. Yeah. These nachos are five dollars. Our beers were five dollars. Yeah, the only thing we didn't get was the uh, that a quesadilla and the chimichanga and a chimichanga. Yeah, which mm -hmm. was five dollars as well. Yes. Yeah. So we're gonna try these out. Yes. Go ahead and try this taco out. You can see it's juicy, good, giant chunks of carne asada on there. Regular tortilla. These are like street tacos, so they're kind of small. They're normally two biters. You can feel the little bit 
the carne asada is flavored very well. You can feel a little bit of heat on these. Perfect handheld tacos, two for five bucks. You can easily eat maybe two orders of this. So four tacos, get two carne asada, two chicken maybe for our meal. These are really good, nice and packed, and you can see this juice from the carne asada. And they give so, you a lot of meat. Yeah, it's a very good flavor, carne asada. I love the chunks. Oh yeah, yeah. it doesn't need the salsa at all. But yeah, this is good. If you do, you have three different salsa to yep. choose from. You do. This is delicious. You should just give this one a try. Nachos. Five dollars? Sign me up, right? Look at this. It's loaded with all those pico de gallo, and like you said, the refried beans, the cheese. Oh, and I love that they put these in the oven because these chips are hot. Here we go. These are delicious. For the same price of like a, like a fast food type of Mexican place, Taco Bell, you could get some better like home restaurant quality nachos. Yeah, this is amazing. I love that refried beans and cheese. I'm a big fan of like regular bean and cheese burritos. So this is like right up my alley. Oh yeah, these are delicious. That was a great happy hour That Mexico. was really good and $5 per item. That's that was right. actually a lot of food. We were looking through the menu and that salsa flight it was actually what 12.95 maybe i think it was yeah yeah and then they sell three tacos for like i think 12.95 for the asada oh no 16.95 for the asada normally um yeah so it's a good deal the happy it hour is. is a good deal it's only from three to five here at mexico it is the it seems like it doesn't seem like a smaller portion Right. For happy hour. It's like now, a regular size portion. They do have great flavors and I yeah. wouldn't mind coming back because they had an Aloha combination with yeah. a cheese enchilada, beef taco, rice and beans and that one looked really good. Yeah, yeah. And we haven't really even had any Mexican food here on the island. No, we haven't. But if we if we had a chance, we'd come back to here. It's, it's So far the flavors are really good on there. They are? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. You Can had I a little, okay? little uh, what you call it, take out. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Off okay. to our next place. Yes. We are at our next location, Monkey Pod, yes. which is a short walk over yes, here. Yes, yes, and their happy hour is from 3.30. Yeah, to 3, 5. To 5. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we passed by here many times, but we never ate. Yeah, so we're right. going to try something out. Yes. So from 3.30 to 5, the whole restaurant is happy hour, so we just got seated upstairs. Look at our view. It's of the golf course. Beautiful trees. Yeah, in fact, right across the way is where we're staying at the Aulani. Right there. Yeah, this is really nice. Mai Tai. Look at a little slice of pineapple over there. And it's got the foam on top. Wow, let me see what kind of foam that is. Tastes like a little koi, like a little sour passion fruit. Wow, here we go. It's dripping. Oh, it is. I think that's why they gave a napkin yeah. here. Let's try this out. They didn't hold back on the rum. Try to mix a little bit. This will do the job. It is nice and fruity. Tastes of pineapple juice in here, along with the dark rum. Yeah, this is ice cold. It's delicious. I love that foam top right there. It's a nice touch. First time I've seen it. A little bit sweet, a little bit sour. It's 
Delicious. I wanted something sweet, so that I got the noka oi. Um, I know it had a little koi, little koi puree in it. So let's try this out. Cheers. Oh, that's delicious. It's um, a little sweet, a little tart. Yeah, just like my phone. Mm, that passion fruit really comes out in here. Oh, yeah. This is very refreshing. Recommend it. The no cut oil. Uh, does it taste, uh, can you taste the alcohol a lot? Or not? You can't. You, you know it's in there because you can taste a little bit of the alcohol, but you really comes out with the, the little sweet and the tartness of the passion fruit. That really stands out in this one. This is the cocoa corn chowder. This is made with coconut milk instead of the regular cream that they normally use. This looks just delicious. It looks nice and it looks freshly done. Looks very homemade. Has kale in there. Let's go ahead. Has potato, tomato. Go ahead and try this out. That coconut juice really comes out in this corn chowder. I like that coconutty flavor. And then you have the sweetness of the corn. Oh, this is good. And they give you a kinda side of pita? Me, yeah, it's some of pita. Kind of reminds me of like a, I think because of the coconut, kind of like maybe a Thai dish. Mm. It reminds me of. Like a yellow curry Like a, like or a yellow curry. It tastes to me like a yellow curry without the curry portion of it. That coconut is very prominent. Just like a regular pita. Nice, thick, and great vessel for dipping. This is, this is good. Ooh, I feel a little bit of heat coming on. Slight bit of heat in this one. There are a lot of items on the happy hour menu, but a lot of ones that have type of seafood are not included. They had some poke uh, what, tacos. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that looked delicious, but it was not included. And there was something else that you wanted to try. The deviled egg yeah, lobster. Yeah, lobster deviled eggs. Wow, that's, that sounds amazing too. But we just wanted to stick with what you can get during happy hour. And what I have here in front of me is the lobster patch ravioli. This is a vegetarian dish, just like your corn chowder. So let's give this a try. It's very delicate. Oh, it's, you can tell it has a little bit of a, like olive oil onto it. The, it's a spinach leaf and the ravi, I'm sorry, the, uh, the ravioli with the pumpkin in there. It's gonna be a big bite. That is delicious. First time I've ever had pumpkin ravioli. There's a good shot of it right there in the middle. That orange is a pumpkin. It's almost like a puree. The, the sauce, whatever sauce they use here is delicious. And is that like feta cheese or something? I'm not a big fan, but it tastes good. Everything matches on this thing. Happy hour pizza. This is the Kahlua pork and pineapple pizza. You can see it has like some pesto in here. We got it as designed with the jalapenos. Of course, we're not kind of really big on jalapenos. So we just kind of kind of move it off to the side, but we just want to show you what it looks like if you order it as is. So let me get a slice ready here. They just brought this out too. You know what? On my vacation, I'm gonna I'm gonna try it as designed. Oh, okay, babe. Yeah. Look at that. It smells delicious, by the way. Here we go. Just as I was finishing my bite, I I told her you're really gonna like this. The first thing that comes through is the crunchiness of the jalapeno. It is not hot, but it just has that nice jalapeno flavor to it. The Kahlua pig, nice and has that perfect amount of saltiness that you want with it, along with the cheese and the pesto. Excellent crust over here. This is exceeding my expectations. I thought it was gonna be okay, but it is better than okay. It is in the excellent mark excellent pizza over here. I love it. You're talking this up, babe. I gotta try it. I was so, talking it up. Here we go. I got, you can see my Kahlua pork right there. 
go stick this piece of jalapeno right here on the edge. And let's give this one a bite. The jalapeno taste kind of reminds me of a bell pepper, which is kind of interesting. Kahlua pork, very nice, very meaty, very well seasoned. The sweetness of that pineapple and this crust is really thin, so it doesn't take away from the pizza because you don't want the chewiness of a crust. The sauce they have, again, this is not marinara, so it's not like a regular pizza. It has like a really good pesto sauce. Wow. They hit it out of the ballpark with this pizza. Hey, Lou. Now, that jalapeno was hot. A little bit, huh? Uh, some, what of it I did, say. some of it does have little seeds on it, I yeah. see. But that outer crust is so crispy. It's like it's baked to good. perfection. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is excellent. Give this pizza a try. The Kahlua pork and, and pineapple. Uh, pineapple. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very good pizza. Here at Monkey Paw, they're known for their desserts. Now, it isn't on the happy hour menu, but we had to try it because all of the desserts are all with locally made ingredients. Yeah, source, yes. right? A, a local source. Yeah. Locally sourced, and the crust is homemade, so we got to try it out. This is the banana cream pie. Look at that. It's the lay uh, vanilla cream, I believe they're saying. They're saying that the banana, I forgot they were called apple bananas. Everything again is locally sourced. Let's go ahead and try this out. Yeah, we love banana cream pie. We so do. When we saw it on the menu, it was a toss up between this and a coconut cream pie. Yes, and then again, it's not on the happy hour menu, but we gotta try it out. Yes. Here we go. That's a good banana cream pie. Not only the ingredients are just amazing, but that crust is nice and flaky. It's not heavy at all. Um, you gotta get a dessert here. Come and eat and then be sure to finish your meal with a dessert. This is stunning. This is stunning. I think this is, not I think, I know this is one of the better banana cream pies I've tasted. Wow. Yeah, you're gonna like it, babe. I think this even tops any of our banana puddings we've had. No. Yes. No. Try it out. Oh, you're talking this up. For banana pudding, you know, the two that just absolutely stand out in my mind is in Alabama, which is Rodney Scott's barbecue. Their banana pudding was amazing. As well as, what's the other place, uh, Nashville? A Hattie Bees. Hattie Bees also had an amazing banana uh, pudding over there. But you're putting this in that same category? <laughs> Let's see. Over here in, on the uh, island of Oahu, going up against the heavy hitters of barbecue. Wow. That's some tall words, babe. Tall words. Cheers. Yes. Even though this is a banana cream pie, I put this in the same category as a banana pudding because it is so uh, pillowy, soft pudding right here. Fresh bananas. I love that caramel uh, drizzle on top and that crust is just short of amazing. I'm going to break off a piece just so you can see up close on it. Look at that. Perfectly pressed around the outside of that tin. What do you think, babe? Monkey Bob, welcome to the club of banana puddings. Monkey Pod was amazing. I love it. It was delicious. It was. So the happy hour at Monkey Pod is totally worth it. Even the food looked really good. Yes. If you're not here for the happy hour. Right. So <laughs> I'd probably give it a try. You know, well, we'll, we'll be honest here. Uh, yeah. When we ordered the dessert, we we're kind of full. Yeah. And we're just planning on taking a bite or two just for the video. And, and then, then taking it back. Yeah, taking it back to the room. Yeah. But as you saw, 
we just killed that thing. We just did that thing. Yeah, out, that so thing did. was just delicious. It was, it was. And you know, I do have one regret. That the last time we came here in December, we never mm -hmm. tried monkey pot. Yeah, with the whole family here. Yeah, they would have loved it. They would have, yeah. yes. So, so hopefully for their next family trip, next it's, time. it's harder to get them all together now that right. they're getting older. So yeah. when you, if for your families, if you got to do it when you can, guys. That's it. Yeah. That's good advice yes. for sure. We have a couple more places here on this side of Colina to try out uh, tomorrow. Yes. We're doing egg and things. Yeah, for mm -hmm. breakfast early in the morning. And we do yeah. have one ice cream place right over yeah. there. That's so uh, we'll definitely delicious. to try that out yes. too. Yes. So until, th until those adventures, we'll see you in the morning. Good morning. Mm -hmm. oh. <coughs> oh, my throat. Me, 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 me. Good morning. Good morning. We are here to try eggs and things. Um, I think it's a chain here in Hawaii, right? Yeah, it is. Yeah, mm -hmm. and they've been uh, open in business since 1974 so yeah. they know a thing or two about eggs yep and they're right across the street from again where we're staying so we're highlighting really the places that are local to the Alauni, the marriott and the four, four seasons. seasons i know so you remember the hotels so yeah or right. or even if you're not staying here if you're cruising on this west part of the island yeah these are options here mm -hmm. so they open at 7 a.m and we're a little bit early so uh we're going to get a table yes. and see what kind of eggs they got. Yes, yes, they're eggs and things. Yeah, mm -hmm. and stuff. And stuff. Yeah. We just got seated and now we're looking over the menu. And we did the scanning online. So this seems like their most popular things to order on this menu. But online, they have a lot of other things that you can order too. And didn't you get like an exclusive to yes, Coolina over Yes, the Coolina exclusive, which I got the jalapeno bacon fried rice with eggs all right over easy eggs and you know i have to get a custom omelet so that's what yeah. i got mm -hmm. and we're starting it off with a uh, guava juice and your pod yeah. right. so now we're just waiting yeah this is a great alternative other than eating at the resorts i got the jalapeno bacon fried Right? I'm reading it. I'm looking at the jalapeno bacon fried rice and eggs they asked how i wanted my eggs and i wanted it over easy I'm not looking at that this fried rice looks amazing. Let's go ahead and dig into this fried rice. I see the jalapeno in there. Mm. This is a perfectly cooked fried rice. And it's really on, it's not on the mushy side, it's on that dry side that you need for the fried rice. The first thing that comes down is that great bacon flavor. I'm wondering if they render the bacon first in that bacon fat and then they add the fried rice to it because that's how much bacon it's picking up. They have jalapeno pieces in here. So, the jalapeno flavor is an extremely strong because they do have jalapeno pieces in it. But you really taste that bacon in this fried rice. Now let's go ahead. Fried rice is excellent. Let's go ahead and add that egg. Oh yeah. Add that egg right into that fried rice. That egg just makes this dish glorious. What I need is almost like a side of kimchi with this. And that brings it to the next level. Excellent. I got the Portuguese sausage with potato and cheddar cheese. Look at the size of this. This is like, that's like my hand for comparison. This is a huge omelet. Let's just cut it into the middle. I believe see. it's only like a three egg omelet. Yeah, let's, let's see what we're working with here. Wow, look at that. Look at that, all those cubed up, chopped up pieces of Portuguese sausage. Also cute potatoes and all that cheese in here. Wow, it looks really good. You are given choice of meat, vegetable, and different type of cheese, which you'll see on the side. So you could pick one item from each of those categories. So let's try this out. Wow, this is a, looks very delicious. I was torn between getting the Portuguese sausage or the Spam, but I figured since we might have some Spam a little bit later, let's just get the Portuguese sausage. Wow, look at that. How does that look? Look pretty good? You like that? Look at that. That, that cheese is just dripping. Here we go. 
guy um, you know, willing to be my wingman. You know that feeling when you take that first bite of a dish and you know after having that bite, that is it. That's the feeling I'm getting with this omelette. This omelette is amazing. I can see why this place is so popular. It gets four stars on Yelp. There's always a line where we got here at 7. It was starting to queue up already. It's popular for a reason. And this is delicious. This is one of the best Portuguese sausage omelets that I've had. Wow. Yeah. Everything just works perfectly. And, you know, I'm sure the other combinations, if you got vegetable or a different type of cheese, it would taste just as good. This is just a combination that I picked, and it's delicious. Is the Portuguese sausage spicy at all? It's not the spicy type of Portuguese sausage, it's mild, but the perfect saltiness from that cheese and a little bit from coming from the sausage. Of course, the potato's neutral, so it's balancing everything out. It's perfect. Yeah, I love it. We got the side of pancake. Now, this came as an option uh, side. With your, with your omelet. Yes, for my omelet. Because you're given a choice between the pancake, rice, and potato. Or potatoes, right. So since we I already had the potatoes inside the omelet, we just decided to try their, their flapjacks out. Mm -hmm. And this is what they have available, the mm -hmm. guava, the coconut, and the maple. We're going to first try the coconut one. Let's go ahead and cut this pancake. Really nice, fluffy. Go ahead and try it with the coconut. Put a little bit of coconut syrup yeah, on first this. I thought that was almost like lilacoy yeah. syrup. Put a little bit of coconut syrup on this. Mm, very coconutty. Not extremely sweet, but just sweet enough for a syrup. Now, coconut syrup is delicious. Now, guava. I know some people don't like guava. It is a acquired taste, you think, baby? Uh, a little bit. I mean, especially if you've just been drinking like the typical apple juice, orange juice right. for most of your life. It is a little bit different. But here on the island, you'll find them everywhere for guava. Here we go. That guava syrup is very good. It has a little bit of sweet to it. it. Has that really good fruity flavor. That guava syrup is good, and along with the pancakes, it is excellent. Uh, very good. Which very is your favorite? Regular the pancakes. The guava. Okay. Now he likes the coconut, but you try try this guava, baby. I, I like it. That does it for breakfast at Eggs and Things. Yeah, that was very good. Now, when we got here, we opened up Eggs and Things website. There's a wait list. So you just mm -hmm. join that wait list. We were sat within a minute. So yes. be sure to do that when you're here or when you're on the way because it does get busy here. And anyway, it's only 8 o'clock. Yeah. Yeah. And then look, there's, there's people already, you know, kind of waiting, yeah. right? To, and, they might be walk ups. I don't yeah. Know. And so we were here at 7 o'clock because we didn't think it was going to be busy. It was busy. Yeah. Was of busy. course, we did, didn't get to finish everything. So we got it to go because, you know, we have a refrigerator. We do. And they have a microwave um, down in um, Ulu Cafe. Yeah, mm -hmm. for anyone to use. Yes, right? yes. So we so. got it to go for uh, in case we want to eat early, early morning or have a late night snacky. We're set. Yeah, that because mm -hmm. that omelet is the bomb. Yes, it is. Love it. Yes. And I did try that fried rice and the pancake, and they're equally delicious. Yes, yes. And this is and the eggs and things is actually across the street from or right next door to uh, Starbucks. Yeah. So and, if you're uh, looking for your coffee fix. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like I mentioned earlier, uh, there are a few locations in the Honolulu Waikiki area. And they have some out-of-state ones. They have one in Guam and in Japan. Japan. Yeah, yeah, so mm -hmm. if you guys are in those locations, check out Eggs and Things. Yes. We have one more location, which we're going to hit up later tonight yes. or tomorrow, which is that ice cream place. Mm -hmm, that's and, right. Yeah, and that's going to do it for this uh, Koalina food tour. Mm -hmm. Uh, but and it was we, really neat because it was really just across the street from yeah, the resort. Yeah, it is. So very really convenient. Nice. Mm -hmm. But we do have other plans outside now. Yes. So you have to stay tuned for that video. Uh-huh. Yep. Uh, let's go. Let's go go visit the outside stuff, babe. Well, I don't know what to say. <laughs>
I don't know if that'll make it or not. <laughs> we made it to our last eating spot Ooh. over here on the Colina side. I think we're going to hit one more after this, but yeah. Yeah, we are? Yeah, we are. <laughs> Yeah, it's called Black Sheep Cream Company. It's yes. an ice cream place. Yes, uh -huh. and I believe, hopefully it's all local. I think it's all local. Local ice creams we're going to go try out and see what type of flavors yeah, they have. Yeah, uh, it is near Sunset, and look how, yes. look how beautiful that is right there. And uh, they have weird hours, so be sure to check their website if you're going to come check it out. Yes. So, uh, yeah, let's go in and see what they got. Alrighty. Hello. Hello. Here are the flavors of ice cream they have. And it was recommended uh, that the ones on the bottom row are their most popular. So we're going for the uh, pistachio. We got our pistachio ice cream. Yes, look at this. It has so much pistachios in there. Let's turn it oh, on yeah. so you can see it. Wow, look at that, see yeah. That? It has a lot of pistachios in there. Right. You're, this is your favorite flavor, babe, so you can it do is. first. How's that? That is a good pistachio. Mmm. It has yeah. pistachios in it. Yes, very small little pieces, mm -hmm. but it's extremely creamy. Yes. It's almost like a pistachio brittle that's in it, too. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. very small. Mm -hmm. As you see, we're sitting at a table outside, and right across the way is monkey pot. Monkey pot, yep. Yeah. That's good. Mmm. It is. Yeah. You like this one, it's, and it's buttery. It tastes kind of buttery too, huh, yeah. baby? That's what I mean. It's, it's very smooth. Mm -hmm. It's buttery. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is excellent. Mm -hmm. Excellent um, pistachio ice cream. Mm -hmm. We're going to finish off this single scoop. Yeah. And then just right down the walkway mm -hmm. is the uh, ABC Country yeah, Store. Yeah, it's the Island Country Market. It's run by ABC. Mm -hmm. They have some yummy desserts in there, which is a little bit different than what any other ABC has. So we're going to go grab something there. Yeah. Also, we'll give you a quick little tour of the place because yeah. it is not the ABC that you're used to seeing. Yes, that's true. It's mm -hmm. like uh, a, a super ABC. Yeah, and there's tons of people that come over here and eat and get their meals to go. Yeah. Yeah. We'll give them a quick little tour. Yeah, we will. When you come into the one that's right across the street, this side is the original ABC store. Yeah, this is, uh, you could find everything from a traditional ABC that's everywhere. Mm -hmm. But on this side... Is all the food. Yeah, that's what's going to set this uh, place different yes. from other ones. So we're going to go check that out. Here is all your grab-and-go items from wraps, fruits, salads. Uh, yogurt, everything is over here. As far as some prepackaged bentos, some spaghetti. What do we have here? Some quesadillas, some barbecue, teriyaki chicken, also pre made sandwiches. So you have a big selection here if you just want to have some grab and go. This here is the food they have available. I know the Oh, the sushi. They have little so, bento boxes, yeah, shrimp yoza. cocktails, salads. Uh, some mini pizza, pizza. flatbreads. Mm -hmm. And we have some poke selections. Yep. And I know this was available all day. Yes. And then they change from lunch to dinner because today is prime rib day. Oh, so, yeah, he's, gar he's carving some prime rib right now. Actually, it uh, looks like cooked pretty good, huh? Yeah, it is. Yeah. And then they have fried chicken a day with yeah. mashed potatoes. So they're special. How much is the prime rib tonight? Um, today is prime rib double cut with a cooking chicken. I forget how much their specials were. They also have sandwiches and burgers. And more items here. And for morning time, this is your uh, breakfast options. Here's some hot items, also grab and go. And of course, you have to have your uh, spam recipe. And some teriyaki beef bowls. And some uh, penne and meatballs. Also, they have some specials like uh, kimchi fried rice. Mahi Mahi Tacos, Barbecue Brief Biscuit. 
we got the price of the prime rib and it was $18.99, so not yeah. bad. No, it's a complete meal, yes. complete dinner, right? So, but this is our second dessert. This is, uh, we're gonna get a boba drink. Boba, hey look, they have uh, Hawaii gelato there. They do. What do you think? Hmm. I wonder if they uh, if they make it as good as uh, Italy. I'm not sure. <laughs> I mean, we're either. not getting that today. Okay, yeah, but and they do have some pastries here as well. Look at all that. Some muffins, danishes, croissants, and In their the morning. coffee. Yes, different types of coffee here. They have boba drinks too. Milk tea, some organic lemonade, and blended type of drinks. Here you go. What'd so, you get? our final and last dessert, I got my Thai tea with boba. Boba is the little tapioca pearls on the bottom if you stir it up. There you go, you can see it all there. Now, this is on the sweet side, so I, I really like this on the sweet side. Mm -hmm. Delicious. That is going to wrap it up from uh, Off the Strip, Honolulu Eats. Uh, not this one, baby. Oh, not this one? No. <laughs> That's going to wrap it up from the local eats across from the uh, three resorts. Yes, the only place that we missed, which we um, didn't try, was the Tropic Poke. Yes. So we are all poked out, so we didn't try that place. But there are a lot of great eateries right across the street. If you don't want to eat the resort, come and check these places out. Oh, yeah. They're very good. And, and you know, yeah. the, the last place we just showed you, the ABC. Yeah. Yeah, that's a great, like, meals for dinners and breakfast they have. Mm -hmm. So that's a good option to just you know, grab and go, take yeah. it back to your room. And what's really nice is that you don't need a car when you come to the resorts because you just come across the street to ABC, regular price, six yeah. packs of waters, 12 packs of waters, anything like that for your room. Right. When you uh, stay through any of the resorts. Yeah, uh, it is, you know, even we stayed at the Aulani, it still takes about 10 minutes to walk here. Yeah. But uh -huh. it is a quick drive if you want to drive over here. Leisurely walk. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, do you have any shout outs? Babe? I do. Um, Patrick, happy birthday. Happy birthday, Patrick. And thank you so much for our, all of our Hawaii Ohana that we saw here at the Aulani. Yes. Uh, we saw a few more people today, didn't That's we, right. baby? Yeah, we did. We, we saw did. a few more people today, so that was so much fun. Yes, thanks so much for saying hi. Yes, yes. And hope you're enjoying your stay yes. over here. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, that's going to wrap it up. Yes. Um, I think we have one video after this, I we believe. Do. Yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. which is like a off the strip kind of uh, eats. Yeah, and this off the strip eats, we're yeah. saying strip because we're not in Waikiki. Yeah. We're actually in Honolulu. We're going outside. So it's kind of off the beaten path eats. Yeah. Yep. So, so stay tuned. A lot of local inspired ones. Yes, mm -hmm. and we're catching that sunset right there yes, perfectly. Look how beautiful that is. Yeah. Beautiful day, hardly any humidity in the air, breeze. Oh. Yeah, we got to enjoy this before their summer hits. Oh, yeah. I'm enjoying it right now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so until our next adventure, we'll catch you guys on the next one.